Hey y'all, it's AGP here and it's Monday. So you know it's time for another AGP video. <laughs> Alright y'all, I told y'all I was going to be back today when I gave y'all the video yesterday or really early this morning. But let's just get into this. So y'all know The Last of Us Part 2 comes out in less than two weeks. And so officially it has became the fastest selling PlayStation 4 exclusive in the country of Brazil. In the history of any PS4 exclusive, The Last of Us Part Two has become the most pre-ordered game before its release at launch. And apparently it's on track to be following Marvel's Spider-Man's PS4 launch in Europe. So it looks like it's in the same exact space that Spider-Man was in at this time as far as pre-orders go in its lifespan before it came out. So that's pretty lit basically it's on track to possibly be the most highly anticipated or the most pre-ordered playstation 4 exclusive game all time now mind you y'all this is while the game is still technically banned in the united arab emirates and saudi arabia so it may be the most highest selling ps4 exclusive ever in the history and there's places where it's technically not even supposed to be played of course people can actually still play them in those places but you'd have to buy it from another country's PlayStation Store or get it from some kind of underhanded market type situation. That's fire, honestly. For those who thought that because of leaks and spoilers that it was going to not sell well and for those who were kind of hoping it wouldn't sell well just because maybe they didn't necessarily like what they did with the story, I apologize to y'all, but look, man, when a game is highly anticipated and it keeps getting closer and closer to the release date, eventually... You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, it is what it is. There's probably a reason for that. Last of Us Part 2 does look great. I mean, even if you don't love what you found out in the spoilers or the leaks, you cannot lie that this game looks like it's going to be really good from the gameplay and the story. Just knowing Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog always comes through with the stories and just the good games in general. Speaking of the leaks, though, we also got confirmed that there was, the ending to the game isn't in any of the spoilers or the leaks, and that a lot of the spoilers or the leaks have a lot of theories around them that are not true. Uh, this was confirmed by Neil Druckmann, and he said in a quote, he said, we think the players are going to get out of it what we want them to get out of it. I was saying that too, because you know you can't get the full experience of a game until you play it, much like watching a movie or watching a show series. You see clips here. You see highlights, you see previews, you hear people talk about it. But you're like, I didn't know I was going to love it until I actually watched it or played it. And honestly, for those who were saying that it's for SJW, Social Justice Warriors or whatever, I mean, I'm actually, it couldn't be coming at a better time then. And, and honestly, that's a compliment. So, like, you know, I don't know how, how wanting things to be correct for everybody or equal for everybody, when that became a slander or a slur, like who like that's a good thing you know what i'm saying and even if people want to say oh they're pandering i'm like everybody panders you always have somebody or some audience that you are trying to appeal to you know regardless of whether or not it's women or men or whites or blacks or hispanics or there's a reason that you have that and you put your own representation in it and you hope that you put a few different groups representations in it so that they can all Go and see it, go enjoy it, go and play it. So, Lottie Dog, y'all are doing your thing. I'm very happy that it will be coming out in under two weeks. It'll be a great game. I still think it's going to be in the running for Game of the Year, without a doubt. And just to give y'all a little bit more insight on some of what Neil Druckmann was saying when he was asked about the spoilers, even at this point, he said, there's a lot of the feedback that came out. Our take on it is you don't know, right? There's so many false things out there. We don't want to go out there and correct anything because that would be spoiling the game in a way by saying what it isn't. We're kind of saying what it is. And I think it's a bit into spoiler territory, but we want to elicit certain feelings from the player and then have them reflect on those feelings for the second part. Jackman said, so for us it's like, okay, we got the first part, now let's see if we can get the second part once the game is out there because, again, people just don't know. There's all these theories about what the ending is, but the ending is not out there. You actually don't know how it all comes together. And if y'all have seen stuff, even from the story trailer, there's 
a lot to be explained in this game. So all of that sounds like it makes sense. It, there could be a whole plot behind it. Who knows if you'll learn about Ellie's parents. Who knows if you'll learn that the Kara actually doesn't, wouldn't have cared everybody and she would have died for nothing. So Joel actually did do the right thing in saving her. You know, what if there's a weird chemical reaction between Ellie's blood and the virus and it would have made it, would have made it increase faster. You know, increase in stages faster. What if The Last of Us Part Two has something crazy in it? Like, the people who they did the attack on Jackson left Ellie alive on purpose, knowing she could be the cure, and they tried to give her no reason to want to live so they could find her and then use her for the cure. You don't know. All these things could be answered, and she was obviously left alive on purpose from what it sounds like in that attack. It sounds like a very planned attack, if you guys heard at the end of the story trailer. We could have killed you. <sighs> Maybe you should have. That's all I have to say today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm very excited. I hope y'all are too. All right? I'm going to catch y'all later. AGP out. Peace. Can you play that again? <laughs>